A parking garage collapses, sending cars plunging onto vehicles below. Watch that again. Just as we think those cars are spared, they come crashing down. Images from the ground, just unbelievable, but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, no one was hurt here, and that collapse happened right as workers left for lunch. This all happened east of DFW Airport at Irving Parking Garage. This is in Las Colinas. That's where our Jobin Panicker is live tonight with details. Jobin? Well, Marie, uh, you know, it's, it's a little eerie seeing it here at night. You see a lot of these vehicles still on top of each other. Not much has changed since that second collapse. You know, that cleanup has not started, will not start until engineers figure out what's going on here. It almost looks post-apocalyptic. Vehicles piled on, sandwiched, some barely visible. This is the view from the ground floor of this parking garage in Irving. Destruction. It's just destruction. It's, I'm so thankful that nobody's hurt. That is the good news. Only vehicles are victims to the crumbling garage and to gravity. First this morning, then again this afternoon. Caught by our cameras on HD Chopper 8, another section gave in. You just kind of felt a little rumble and then you heard a big boom. The building across the way, people have opened the blinds for a clear view of the damage, also within earshot. This one's a little bit louder, actually. It was louder. Irving Fire now estimates more than 30 cars are in this heap, maybe more. After the second collapse, Irving Fire stopped anyone else hoping to get their car out. In the event, the collapse continues. So now it's probably going to continue to just crumble. The lucky few who did get their cars out early Tuesday are now thinking, what if? So it's like, if I never made that change, my car would have been there. Radonna Farrell used to park on this side. The cleanup is complicated. It will likely need a crane to get these cars out. But the structural integrity remains the mystery. And any cleanup may rely on that. It's only a matter of time. So we reached out uh, to the owner of this building. We have not heard back, reached out many times today. Now we understand this building was built in 1980. Now there is no Texas law currently on the books that requires routine inspections. It is however recommended and it is on the owner to get those inspections. Reporting live here in Irving, Jobin Panicker, Channel 8 News. All right, Jobin, today's